Question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're Amy. In September 2018, we quit our jobs, sold everything we owned to go travelling around the world. We're taking What the Faux Travel podcast on the road to learn, challenge and explore the world. We've set up our own business, Ant Podcast Management. Amy, Nick, Thompson, get it, Ant. So that we can be location independent and travel full time. Our rough route starts in Europe and the Middle East, then moves on to Latin, Central and North America. On this episode, we explore... Santiago de Chile. Hello, everybody. We are now in Santiago. We came here from Mendoza. We got the bus over the Andes Mountains, which is very impressive. We're now here, like I said, in Santiago, and randomly, we're staying with a friend of mine who I used to play football with in Molden. Ben? Uh, hey Ben, how is living in Chile? Definitely different, but enjoyable. Yeah, man, it's random. A guy from little old Molden, the town I'm from, he now lives here in Santiago. So yeah, he lives here because he went traveling and met his Chilean girlfriend in Argentina. They lived on an island together for a while and now they live here in Santiago, which is a cool little story. Very cool story. So while we're in Santiago, uh, yeah, yesterday we went on a walking tour because that's what we always do when we're in a city. We love a walking tour. Santiago has 6.5 million inhabitants and did you know Chile is the most narrow country in the world? You can just about see the Andes Mountains over there. You can just see a little bit of snow on top. In fact, we're surrounded by mountains here in Santiago, but because it's quite a misty, polluted day, only just see the mountains, which is a shame. And now today, for our second day exploring Santiago, we are going to go... What's it? What's the hill called, Ben? Uh, San Cristobal. San Cristobal. It's supposed to be a good view of the city, but before that, we are going for... What's it called, Amy? Do you remember? Churiana. So we've now arrived here for lunch and breakfast. Can you explain to me what a churiana is? Don't know if I can, but I'll try. It's like loads of chips with lots of toppings and like melted cheese on top. I guess a bit like you'd have nachos with loads of toppings. So yeah, chips, or as the Americans say, french fries. The traditional is chips, meat, um, onions and fried eggs. But the one we're going to get is going to have uh, crispy chicken, barbecue, Coca-Cola sauce, <laughs> and cheddar, crispy bacon, and a little bit of chili. So this is what the bad boy looks like. For roughly six US dollars, we rode the funicular to the top of Cerro San Cristobal. With an altitude of 850 meters above the city, it offers the best views of Santiago. The Virgin Mary statue can be found at the top. Although smaller than Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, the Virgin statue is similarly recognized as an important symbol of Santiago. It's not just a cool viewpoint, this is also a place of worship. To head down, we used the Teleferico. Here in Chile, do you say asado? In, yeah, asado? Yeah. Okay, asado, Chilean style. So he is that asador. Asador. <laughs> Under a lot of pressure. <laughs> Are you gonna fail? Oh no, you didn't fail. Well done. <laughs> I am impressed. Okay, the first bit is done, Ben. Yeah. Now let's see how the food turns out. <laughs> yeah. The easy part has been started. You are the fire starter. <laughs> fire starter. I think you should cue the music on that part. <laughs> I'm the fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Hey, hey, hey. I'm the self inflicted mind detonator. Yeah. So you start by burning the wood here in this grill. 
and when it turns to the coals, it falls through the, the grill and you move it underneath this grill and then it cooks the meat. Okay. Can I put it fat side down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Yeah, fat side, fat side down. Do I need to take that off? Is that good? Yeah. It's fine. Good. Oh, that's the best noise. <laughs> best, the best noise ever. Okay. Ben, can we see the molten sea salt? Model it. Give it a, give us a smile. There we go. <laughs> Only the best. sense that Chilean people consider themselves quite different to the rest of South America. We were told that one of the main reasons is because the country is literally cut off to the rest of the continent by the Andes Mountains. She will not give you her hand. She's camera shy. Hello. You do it when the camera's not off, girl. Come on. <laughs> Be cool, man. Be cool. Right, Nick, tell us what we're doing right now. We're playing a game with Ben's idea. It's called Kill the Vibe. And we have to come up with a song choice. And then the next person has to come up with something completely different to kill the vibe. And are we supposed to guess the song? Guess the song. We haven't been doing that, but we'll do that from now on. <laughs> I don't think there's really any winners or losers, but it's quite fun. Let's show who's playing the game. So you've got Nick. Introduce yourself. Ben. We've met you loads of times with the camera so far. Yeah. <laughs> and? Camila. There we go. <laughs> do your Little John impression. Hi, Little John. He's made a living out of just going, Yeah, okay! <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> That's all he does! <laughs> okay, I'm about to kill the vibe. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah! Let's hope an advert doesn't come on. Yes! Oh, I love this song. Does Ben realise what it is? Has <laughs> got it going on. on. Stacy, can I come over? over. Oh, it's Because tonight is the night that to become one. What about sex? Boom. I don't know why, but. Stop eating Okay, shall I play my one? I need yeah. to do a dance for this one. Ready? <laughs> Better be worth the wait. I didn't realize this was far into the song. <laughs> 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 I want to break free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> Did you learn about me and do us cabellas? You can see those who wear rotas siempre breve su guerra. Oh my goodness! What's up? What's up? So after a lovely few days staying in Santiago with Ben and Camilla, uh, we saw the city and we met her family, went around for a barbecue, which was so good. So we had a really nice time in Santiago and now we've got our own car, we've got a high car and we're road tripping. Check out Amy driving. I don't have my driving license so this is all on Amy, uh, but she's doing very well on these roads. And yeah, we're heading to Valparaiso. So, like, what do we know about this place, Amy? Yeah, so lots of people recommended it to us and uh, they've said it's really colourful, there's lots of street art and 
So Santiago, I did like it, but it was quite businessy and it's kind of like a good example is the difference between Madrid and Barcelona in Spain, where Madrid is more business orientated and then Barcelona is more free and creative. And I think that's what the difference is going to be like with these two places. Yeah, that's a very good point. So yeah, looking forward to this place. We've heard a lot about it. So let's hope it does not disappoint. We're staying in a hostel called Maison de la Mer. Do you like my French there? It, and it is very French. It is <laughs> for the French, French people. Yeah, uh, but it was the cheapest one we found on like booking.com, so that was all good. Now I'm going to be honest with you. Today I am not feeling travelling. Like I really don't want to come over as like ungrateful or anything like that. But this guy's singing for me. What's he saying? selling some brooms. We were meant to get up and out today to kind of explore Valparaiso because we don't have long but I was just not feeling it this morning after like six months of traveling. I'm so tired all the time and because I'm like meant to be gluten free because it makes me really tired and lethargic if I eat bread. That's making me tired. I don't have time to do yoga and meditation just kind of like refuel and reboot myself so yeah, look after yourself. Yeah, like I'm just, I'm not looking after myself. So I'm hoping Valparaiso is going to bring something really good and make me feel like, yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, and we have heard it's a cool place. And yeah. it, first impressions, it does look like a cool place. But you've got to be in the right mood, haven't you? Absolutely. And yeah, like I said, I don't want to come over as ungrateful. Six months of traveling around, moving constantly every few days, it gets really tiring. and. I think if anyone's watching this and you're going through the same thing, you shouldn't feel bad about it because it's it's tiring, you know, we don't all have unlimited energy. So let's see what it brings. Valparaiso was home to Pablo Neruda, Chile's Nobel Prize winning poet. His and many others' creative influence has turned this place into an artistic paradise. The government actively encourages local artists to transform blank walls into works of art. Valparaiso was beautiful, as you guys saw from those pictures. We really like the town, really cool vibe about it. There's a lot of really cool street art to see, of course, it's a very artistic place. It seemed like there's a lot of good nightlife as well, but it was a brief visit because now, as you can see, Amy's driving and concentrating and doing a very good job. We've left city life behind. We're driving up into the mountains. We've got a hired car. We think it'd be a wasted opportunity if we didn't do something like this. Sorry, got the can car. I interrupt and just say, look at those mountains, all the different layers and how they all fade back. It's amazing. You can just make out some of them through all the smog. See, because we're still on the outskirts of Santiago and quite a lot of pollution comes from the city. So we're looking forward to getting away from that pollution. And yeah, you can already see some cool mountains, but the further up we go, the clearer it will get. And we're heading to a place called El Yeso Dam. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Apparently the views are spectacular. So let's see what we can find. famous for its beautiful natural landscapes, but we made our way to an equally stunning man-made one, El Yeso Dam. Locals say it's only reachable in a 4x4, but we did it in a car. You just have to be super careful. The journey takes around two hours from Santiago, and make sure you have enough petrol, food and water as there's hardly any places to stop for essentials on the way. But look at the colour of that water. <laughs> Pizza, this place has a view to enjoy lunch. You can just see over there, there's loads of cattle moving around, trying to get past big trucks. This spot we found. So is it colder than like where the Dead Sea in Israel? Yeah. Next time on What the Fo. Can you tell me how you feel right now? So, sorry, that's a good thing. We've had quite a few.
quite a couple of days and we're very stressed. Yeah. We got pulled over by the police because um, someone was speeding. So we're waiting, 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 waiting for hours and suddenly it vanishes from the screen. We're taking off a bucket list item to go to the VLTs, the very large telescopes in the desert. And we need to be there because it only happens once a week and we're booked to be on this one so we need to get there.